Hi, welcome to this professional education course on the economics of cybersecurity, an exciting new field that combines computer science, economics, and policy. My name is Michel van Eten. I'm a professor at Delft University of Technology and one of the lecturers for this course. The course is the first of its kind, and we are excited that you are joining us for the premiere. The economics of cybersecurity has established itself as an important research field over the past decade, but there are actually just a few places in the world where you can take courses on it. And that means that a lot of people don't have access to education in this area. We want to change that. We brought together some of the leading researchers in the world to develop and deliver this course to you. I will introduce them in a minute. Our common objective is to provide everyone with an opportunity to learn about the economics of cybersecurity. Now, what is this thing called economics of cybersecurity? The name itself has emerged almost 15 years ago and it has taken root since then. Like any name, it can cause confusion sometimes among people unfamiliar with the field. I've noticed that some people, especially those with a technical background, tend to assume it's a branch of economics. And to some extent this is true. Economic concepts play a key role. But the research is typically a lot more technical than many people realize. In fact, most of the leading researchers have a strong background in computer science. They are not pure economists. Personally, I tend to see the field as a branch of computer science that has blossomed into a rich multidisciplinary area of research. I do not want to impose some definition of the field on you or on my fellow lecturers. In my mind, what sets this field apart is the fact that it is inspired by certain puzzles. Puzzles describing the often perplexing reality of the security of information systems and services. Why do some software platforms become dominant even though they are plagued by huge security flaws? Why are some financial services less secure than others, even though they spend more money on security? And more bizarrely, why do criminals send out billions of phishing emails in such bad English? Across these examples run a core insight of the economics of cybersecurity. Security failure is caused by bad incentives, at least as often as by bad design. The concept of incentives comes from economics and together with a handful of other concepts, it will help you understand much better how cybersecurity functions in the real world and how information systems and services could potentially be designed more securely. Let me take you through the outline of the course. In the first week, Professor Ross Anderson of the University of Cambridge will lay the groundwork and provide you with a general introduction to the field. Ross is one of the founding fathers of the field and we are very happy that he has joined us for this course. The second week is devoted to the issue of how to actually measure security. Carlos Gagnan and myself, both from Delft University of Technology, will discuss with you how to develop informative security metrics. That's a lot harder than it sounds. Once you can measure security, you can ask how it can be optimized in light of scarce resources and a variety of risk. In the third week, Rainer Böhme from the University of Münster will teach you about security investment models and risk management strategies for organizations. Now sometimes organizations adopt risk management strategies that are rational for them, but that impose risk or cost to other stakeholders in society. In the fourth week, Tyler Moore from Southern Methodist University will explain when the decisions of organizations lead to market failures. Under what conditions do such market failures occur? How could they be mitigated? In the fifth and last week, we turn to situations where people or organizational do not behave strictly rationally, at least not in the classic sense of the word. Sophie van der Zee and David Moditz from the University of Cambridge will introduce you to behavioral research into security. What biases plague people when making security decisions? How does deception of consumers work and what can we do against it? We end the course with a lecture by Ross Anderson on some of the core policy implications that have come from the field of security economics. Each week consists of four or five video lectures accompanied by reading material. 
To support your learning process, we also include quizzes and assignments on the material. This is not meant to formally test you, but to help you grasp the core ideas. Finally, the course will ask you to contribute to debates and discussions on the forum. And that's the whole course in a nutshell. Now, some of you want to receive a, recificate, uh, sorry, a certificate to show that you have successfully completed the course. There are two things that you are required to do to get the certificate. The first is to complete the short quizzes that I've just mentioned. Each week we'll have several of them, mostly based on multiple choice questions. The second requirement is that you will write and submit a short essay at the end of week five. The essay should reflect on what you've learned from the discussions. It should define your position on one of the discussion topics and then explore how it has changed through interaction with your fellow students and teaching staff. This course is geared towards professionals, so we are not including the type of testing that you typically see in university courses. Rather, we want to support your process of learning and reflection. One final comment. I already mentioned the debates and discussions on the forum. Our experience with other online courses tell us that these are very valuable. So far, I focused on the lecturers and their expertise, but you will enter a very interesting community of fellow students. You will have a unique opportunity to interact with professionals from very different backgrounds, but all working on issues of cybersecurity. Sharing your experiences with one another is one of the most valuable resources that this course can offer. We hope to learn as much from you as you from us. Again, thank you for joining us and we hope you will enjoy the next five weeks.